Welcome back, everybody, to the official first episode of the God Made Millionaire video blog. Yesterday, we did the intro. If you don't know what the channel is about, definitely check out the God Made Millionaire intro. It's a 10-minute video. Everything else will be between three and five minutes. I'll try to keep these short because we'll be doing them, like, pretty much daily. So, but check it out if you don't know what it's about. So, um, God Made Millionaire Principle 1. This is the most important because without this, none of this is going to work for you or me. The book of Hebrews says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Because he who comes to God must believe that he is, and some translations say must believe that he exists, and that he is who he says he is. He is God. He is the creator. So you must believe that he is God. And you must believe that He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So the, the, this won't work for everybody. And it's not going to work depending on you. If you don't believe and, you know, if you're an atheist, I would say stick around. And hopefully, you, you know, and the more you stick around, you'll, you'll see some stuff because God will show that he is alive. That's the beautiful thing about the God of the Bible. He's not dead. He's actually alive, moving. And as you trust these, these promises, you, you will, your, your faith builds. But Jesus said if you come with a mustard seed of faith, which means just a little bit of faith, like all you need is this much just to get you to trust, do something. You don't have to be like some people who been walking with God for years, or some people come right to God from the start and their faith is just like out of this world. You don't have to be that. And if you're not that, don't feel bad because you can literally take the, the let, me let me tell you why your faith is gonna grow. Because the God of the Bible swore by himself that this word is true. And he said, not one promise will he break. So follow me. If, if I came to you, you know, we know natural people. Let's say the most successful person you know. And it could be somebody you've seen on TV. If they came to you and said, listen, for the rest of your life, you know, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to take care of your family. I'm going to make sure you always have a job. Make sure you always, anything you want to do, I'm going to invest in you. Uh, you know, health wise, I'm gonna get you a personal trainer. I'm gonna get every, uh, you know, everything you need naturally, because they can't give you salvation after this life. You know, only that that only comes from Jesus. But naturally, in this world, they said I'm gonna take care of everything. We would probably buy into that. But if they said, listen, if I break any promise, you get all my money or something like that, we'd be ready to basically sign up for that. I know I would. I sign up for that, Oprah. You know, Warren Buffett came to me and said that. But here's the thing. God made better promises. He said, I'm going to change your life in every aspect. Defend you. Provide for you. Pro provide for your relationships. Uh, bless your businesses. Um, I'm going to give you salvation. And if I break any promise that I made in here, I'm a liar. And the whole Bible is questionable. That's powerful. That means if he breaks one thing, the whole Bible is questionable. That means you can take one promise, one seed, and start to, start to put your faith in it. You'll find one thing in the Bible that you say, listen, God, I'm going to trust you for that. And if you're trusting him for that and he doesn't show up, he'll show up. Like, that's the point. <laughs> he'll show up because he swore by himself. Anyone who he, the scripture says he watches over his word to perform it. So that's how you build faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. But you have to start out with at least a general belief that God exists, that I'm going to put a little faith into this word, and I'm going to try this thing. You need a little faith to get you started, and then that faith will carry you as you see more and more things happen in your life. So principle number one, believe God. Believe God. Put him on your mind. Keep him on your mind. And then tomorrow, we'll talk about the next principle, which is we're laying the foundation for how we're going to transform our lives through the word of God. God made millionaire. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment on anything about this video. 
Uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube and we'll keep it coming. Me and God. There's no other way. It's, I don't have a team. It's just me and God. So God bless. Have a great day.